Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review The Omen. So The Omen is directed by Richard Donner, it is written by David Seltzer, and it stars Gregory Peck. And what The Omen is about is that all of these tragic deaths are happening and they could be the control of this boy that the ambassador is raising, who could be the devil's son, also known as the Antichrist. So before I review The Omen, my guest star Mike from we watched a movie is going to be reviewing this movie. So Mike, take it away. Hey guys, my name is Mike from the YouTube channel We Watched a Movie and I'm here to review The Omen with my friend Tony. I don't know about you guys, but I get super psyched when a big time actor actually takes his time to be in a horror movie. And this we have one of the biggest of all time, Gregory Peck, who decides to be in it. It's directed by the director of Lethal Weapon and Superman 2, Richard Donner, half of Superman 2. And it's got a whole lot of shit going for it, including behind the scenes scary stuff. Much like The Exorcist, my favorite part about The Omen is that creepy shit happened in real life surrounding it, which makes it actually scarier than anything else could possibly be. People died, planes were struck by lightning, read up want to go to IMDb, I'll let you do it for yourself, but check into the creepy stuff that happened behind the scenes. It's cool to read about. And I mean, I mean cool in a way that I'm fucking glad it's not me. The acting in this movie is amazing. For a horror movie, if you've got great acting to go off of, you're a step ahead of a whole lot of shit already. It's got this weird, creepy undertone where not a whole lot happens and it actually works. It's suspense in a movie. Go figure. It works. It happens so slowly. It happens so creepy that that when stuff actually happens, they don't even have to show it. You just get chilled to your bone. Uh, Child's Play, I wish would have taken a note from The Omen. Yeah, I know. It's, I'm taking two way different things and putting them together here. But I've just been recently watching the Child's Play movies, and the best part about The Omen is that kid, they managed to make that kid scary. He's so creepy that he freaks me out. Like, when he gets around, I just feel like his aura is going to make something bad happen to me. Uh, whereas with Chucky, it was never scary because I was like, I'll just kick the fucking thing. It doesn't feel like you could kick this kid. Like just, I mean, he rides his bike and he like uses his mind and his sickness and, and all the shit going on with him to make bad, bad shit happen to people. And that, to me, to totally takes away the physical issue of, the, it's a fucking kid, I'm not scared of it, I'll kill it. Making The Omen the creepiest kid movie of all time, in my opinion. And just the whole stuff about the devil and the Antichrist, the stuff that scares me more than anything. And the Antichrist, the demons, all the shit going on in this movie is right up that alley. So honestly, I think The Omen is a fantastic classic. I think it's slow and the music starts to irritate the shit after you after a while. For some reason, me, movies in the 70s, I love them. They put me right the fuck to sleep. It's not that they're just necessarily boring. It's just there's something about that feel. I go Mr. Rogers to sleep immediately. So it took me like six viewings to watch this every time I watch it. But I do love The Omen. I give it an 8.5. I think it's an absolute classic. And I think if you're looking for something creepy that will get stuck inside your head and make you really think, holy shit, I hope I don't get possessed by the fucking devil tonight. And I hope that I don't adopt a kid who ends up being the devil tonight. Um... I don't know why you would just randomly adopt a kid at night, but that's neither here nor there. I hope that we did it justice, guys. Thanks, Tony, for having me on your channel. I hope you guys have an amazing Halloween, and uh, we'll see you down the road. Thank you so much, Mike, for reviewing The Omen. The Omen is honestly a great movie. It is a classic horror film, but it's the kind of horror film where it builds tension and it builds suspense, and also, having you into this environment because there's a whole mystery regarding this movie and when you see these deaths happening it's really frightening not to mention that the boy that the ambassador is raising with his wife who he's happily married to has to deal with the boy who belongs to the devil it's scary and i just want to start off by saying the child this actor who portrayed the child that is apparently the devil's kid did a tremendous job. It's a very haunting and scary performance and I give that credit to the actor who plays the little boy. He scared the hell out of me. You look into his eyes and you can clearly see that he is the devil's son. And ugh, I get the chills every time I have to look at this kid. The actress who plays the 
wife and the mother to the boy that is the Antichrist. She was really great here. And Gregory Peck is just tremendous in this movie. You could see how frightened he is by this whole situation. And it's honestly thanks to his performance that he makes his character really shine and makes you really care about the character. The cinematography is absolutely beautiful as it does take you in this very scary environment. An environment I personally would not want to be in because it is really crazy. The direction by Richard Donner is very great. Without a doubt you're gonna get great cinematography and amazing direction because Richard Donner is such a great director to the point where you know what to expect from him. The direction to this movie fantastic. Every shot is properly framed and how he makes you follow the character of the ambassador played by Gregory Peck. He just takes you along the journey with him and he wants you to really feel for him as well as the wife too. Even when stuff isn't happening in the film you just can't help but get the chills because man is it just that frightening. It builds to one event after another event very smoothly and very beautifully and that's what I think makes The Omen such a classic movie because it was really great when it came to building. Now the only problems I did have with The Omen however is that there were a few moments I did find very predictable. There were a few moments in this movie that did feel really out of place in terms of the execution. I thought the execution just a few times could have been better and I do gotta say the ending to The Omen was very anti climactic. I really didn't feel like the ending to the movie gave the omen the ultimate payoff and I did appreciate and respect what they tried to do with the ending for this movie but personally it didn't really work that well for me. Overall you guys the omen is a great horror classic. It is so well directed by Richard Donner. It is so well written by David Seltzer. Fantastic cinematography, magnificent score, and just a very haunting environment to really get me invested. So I'm going to give The Omen three and a half out of four stars. So you guys in the comments down below let me know what did you think of the 1976 classic The Omen. And I would also love to thank my guest star Mike from We Watched the Movie for guest starring in this review to review The Omen. He's a very nice guy. He does some videos with his buddy Jay. And if you haven't checked out the We Watch the Movie channel, I will leave a link in the description below. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!